Hello, good morning. This is a very interesting weekend we have ahead. Uh, we are literally just a step away from the next full moon and this will be the only full moon in this fire sign areas the only full moon in areas for 2016 and this is rocking the skies literally Aries is a fire sign it belongs to the group from Sagittarius and Leo and Aries and well as you can imagine fire that means temperature is rising and there is a lot going on okay because this is actually um, a hunter moon some call it a super moon a red moon or a travel moon and um, well these are nicknames for this moon because it's really the first moon full lunation after September's harvest moon so this is quite an important um, moment and without any doubt there's a lot going on on the energetic level so i would say there are two things i would like to mention two suggestions advices okay for all of you take it easy watch your communications and avoid any power struggle yes this is basically summing up what could be going wrong totally this weekend because Aries is a very independent sign it is a sign that loves freedom okay there is another sign that's also very very independent that's Sagittarius but in the actual astrological constellation we have that is this full moon in Aries and then there is this very close degree to the um, planet Uranus and this makes it a hell of a weekend I can tell you so especially signs like Leo and uh, well a couple of other signs I would say everybody should just be very very careful with communication because you could be blurting out literally um, some stuff like um, I'm the king of my route and I do things my way and and you would be hurting people and later on when you are regretting this it might be really really too late to take it back so don't burn all those bridges <laughs> this weekend. Take it easy. And um, instead of fighting for world domination, uh, concentrate better all your attention on your wildest dreams. Yes, because there is passion and there's also a sensual aspect. Okay, I would say... Um, these are two keywords, passion and uh, sensual aspect for relationships. So definitely this new full moon will have a lot of stuff to organize, to adjust, to admit, to open up also for all of you who are in a relationship or who want to be in a relationship. So... Uh, go big or go home would be the other topic I would mention because this um, is a lot of areas energy going around and um, maybe um, you have a lot of ideas, beautiful ideas and you have ever thought about writing or publishing or sharing with the world uh, your tips your suggestions your feelings well this could be a good moment okay so think a little bit about writing opening a blog and think going big okay and um, you could be really surprised that there is a lot of audience out there who will love what you are sharing so the fame and reputation issue if you know how to channel that and avoid these power struggles then you are on the good track on the right track and you will be very very successful okay good and um, there's something else i would like to say um the the fire sign areas uh, is related to the head everything that's related 
to your head okay so on the head we have the hair and um, how we do some makeup women with their makeup okay maybe a new haircut but also what you could do is probably get like a beautiful accessoire for your hair if you have um, lunch or dinner invitation or maybe a barbecue party well do something about this because this is your unique style okay so I would say um, take care of your head okay keep your head cool do something with your hair some haircut some make always always good and um, well whenever you feel too much pressure this weekend do something that is really like adventurous that's like chilling out maybe dancing okay because there could be a higher blood pressure and there could be some headaches okay it is all about enjoying this weekend and find the proper way to channel any extra dose of energy okay and well finally coming back to um, the independence issue as I said okay independence is perfect uh, talk about it if you have to talk about it but think twice before you talk because you might be so strong your words might be so strong that you would really burn some bridges and it would be a pity because after this strong moon, full moon, you will hardly get back to what you had before that. Okay, so um, it is also an excellent opportunity to close a cycle and to start something totally new. Okay, maybe you don't know exactly where you want to go, but you are sure that you don't want to have the life you had before or some part of the life you had before. So take a sheet of paper and write your ideas down. Okay, because yes, you will need a plan and yes, you will need a strategy. It is like this. So don't burn bridges. This is what I highly recommend to you avoid discussions, avoid conflict, avoid um, disagreements. If you are not sure if you would like this compromise or another compromise or if you are not sure what direction you really want, give it a couple of days. Okay, ask for time, think quietly about it, do some research, analyzing and I'm sure that next week on Monday you have a really clear head and you can perfectly well move on. Don't forget to take all your crystals and stones outside your lucky charms. If you have lucky charms, a necklace, a keychain, uh, a purse charm, whatever it is, take it out. Your cards with angel ma uh, messages, your Lenormand card, your tarot cards, if you are in, uh, into esoteric uh, subjects, take it out and even yourself take yourself out and sit at least for 15 minutes in the garden and let the moon just shine on you i wish you a happy full moon don't forget to listen to me we have radio kiki's cafe in facebook live from tuesday to thursday at 8 a.m you will need at least spanish basic level to understand me because yes this is a program i only do in spanish that's all for today tschüss tschüss